In this video, we would be solving this question which says Nancy Learner is trying to decide how to allocate her time in studying for an economics course. There are two examinations in this course. Her overall score for the course will be the minimum of her score on the two examinations. She has decided to devote a total of 1200 minutes to studying for these two exams and she wants to get as high as an overall score as possible. She knows that on the first examination, if she doesn't study at all, she will get a score of zero on it. For every 10 minutes that she spends studying on the first examination, she will increase her score by one point. If she doesn't study at all for the second examination, she will score a zero on it. For every 20 minutes she spends studying on the second examination, she will increase her score by one point. In this information, we are asked on a graph below, draw the budget line showing the various combination of scores on the two exams that she can achieve with a total of 1200 minutes of studying. Same graph, draw two or three indifference curve for Nancy. On your graph, draw straight line that goes through the kinks in the Nancy's indifference curves and label the point where the line hits Nancy's budget with the letter A draw Nancy's indifference curve through this point so we have to draw a lot of figures here firstly let's see what is the graph given to us this is the graph given to us where on the x-axis we have score on test 1 and y-axis we have score on test now, firstly, the question asks us to draw the budget line. Here, Nancy does not have any allocated money so that she can spend in two commodities, but she has time which she is considering her it as her income and she has to budget that time into two subjects. That would be her expenditure. So, if you have a habit of considering your Budget line to be in the form of expenditure should be equal to income. Then here what happening is her expenditure on each subject be equal to her total available time she has. In this particular question you have to think that how is your budget line changing in context to the question. Secondly what happens is whenever you read such questions don't get scared by it. Next thing that comes to in our mind is that we know that the score that it is given to us that her overall score for the exams would be the minimum of the scores on two examinations. So her utility function would be taken the form of x1, x2 where x1 is the score on test 1. So we have x1 is the score on test 1. So such that you have x1 here. And x2 is the score on test 2. That's that your x2 lies here. Let's break down information one by one. Next, we are given that she has decided to de devote a total of 1200 minutes to studying for these two examinations. That means her total time she has is 1200. Also, one thing here, it was the form of minimum. Now, next, we are given that she wants to get as high a score as possible. She knows that on the first examination, if she doesn't study at all, she will get a score of zero on it. For every 10 minutes that she spends studying for the first examination, she will increase her score by one point. Now what happens is, you might be thinking that how do I say that I have to incorporate this 10 minutes into my utility function so, so shall I take it to be 10x1 or x1 divided by 10 since x1 is the score on your test but no that is the wrong way why because the utility is simple minimum of the scores on her two examinations so her utility would be taken the form of 10 oh sorry x1 comma x2 minimum of x1 comma x2 this is a simple utility function whereas how do i incorporate these 10 minutes she spends. Now, see this is her expenditure of the total time. She has 1200 minutes. Then if she spends 10 minutes 
one first exam. So administrative expenditure would give her one point on that exam. That means this would be her price that she has to pay. So that means this thing would be coming in her budget line. 10 minutes multiplied the score she wants to get. Be very careful how the question is made. And likewise you have to solve it. We are also given that if she doesn't study at all for a second examination, she will get a zero on it. But every 20 minutes that she spends studying for the second examination, she will increase her score by one point. That means, again, she has to spend 20 minutes in order to get a single point on her second examination. Again, this means this is her expenditure on each subject. This is the price she has to pay. And here the price is in the form of time you allocate to a particular subject. So, the again, this would come in her budget line. So, this is x2. So, her budget line would be of the form 10x1 plus 20x2 is equal to 1200 minutes. This is an expenditure on each subject and should be equal to total time. Now, the question says to graph a budget line showing her various combinations of two exams that she can achieve with a total of 1200 minutes. Since this is the equation of your budget line and your x and your score on test 1 which is your x1 is lying on x-axis and score on test 2 which is x2 is lying on y-axis, you can easily draw this line using your basic geometry and this would look like this red line. Now the question further says on the same graph draw 2 or 3 in different curve for Nancy. This is the equation for her of her utility. And that is a utility is taking the form of minimum x1 comma x2 and if a function is taking the form of minimum that means it's a perfect complement and perfect complements have an L-shaped graph which would look like this where the kink is lying at the place where both quantities are equal that happens where x1 is equal to x2 so this orange graph and this green graph are two of our indifference curves now Next, the question says on your graph, draw a straight line that goes through kings in this indifference graph. These and this are two points that are lying on the kings and if I join them, I would get a straight line which would look like this. Now, next the question is saying, label the point where this line is hitting Nancy's budget line with letter A. Since this is the line joining the kings and this is her budget line, clearly this Kink line is hitting the budget line at this point and let's label that point to be A. And next the question says draw Nancy's indifference curve through this point which is simple nothing but her L shaped graph which would look like this purple graph. See the question was simple all you have to do is first understand what all information is given to and try and write it in your own terms so that you are able to understand yes the question is saying this. First, once we have decoded this entire information, it was pretty easy for us to solve this part. Now, moving on to the next part, we are say asked, write an equation for the line that passes through the kings of Nancy's indifference curve. The Nancy's utility was of the form x1, comma, x2 is equal to minimum of x1, comma, x2. And we know that the kings happen at the place where your this and this are equal. That means a king would be at the place where x1 is equal to x2. Where consumer is consuming equal quantity of both the goods. And this happens where x1 is equal to x2. Next, we are asked to write an equation for Nancy's budget line, which we already did that and that was nothing but 10x1 plus 20x2 is equal to 1200 where 10 minutes is she spending to score every point in her first exam and 20 minutes is the cost she has to pay to score one point on her second exam and this expenditure should be equal to the total time she has which is her 1200 minutes the next question says solve these two equations into unknown to determine the intersection of these two lines this happened at the point this 
So the basic question is asking us to solve this equation and this equation. Let's substitute this equation into this. That means what we have is we're starting with the equation 10x1 plus 20x2 is equal to 20. And we are substituting the equation of x1 is equal to x2 into this. That means we would be substituting x2 with x1 and this is equal to 1200 and this is 1200. So what we have with us is 30 x1 is equal to 1200 or x1 is equal to 40. And since x1 is equal to x2 then your x2 is also equal to 40. Next the question says, given that she spends a total of 1200 minutes studying, Nancy will maximize her score by spending dash minutes studying for her first exam and dash minutes studying for her second exam. So let's see this graphically. This was the equation of King and this was your budget line. And when we solved these two, it was intersecting at the point A. And uh, you can see that the coordinates of A are 40 and 40, and which we also solved here. So you can verify this graphically. Coming back to this question. Now what we have is, this is the equation of a budget line. And this means that she has to spend 10 minutes to score x1 points. And this means that she has to score spend 20 minutes to score x2 points. And the sum of this expenditure is has to be equal to 1200. We have calculated that your x1 and x2 are 40. That means the score on each exam should be 40. That means if I multiply the score by the time she has to get that score, then I would be able to get the total time. That would be if I multiply the score of 40 multiplied by 10 is equal to 400. This means this is the time she has to spend on the first exam, your second subject has a cost of 20 minutes for each score and now she is scoring up 40. So that means she has to spend a total of 800 minutes. So here it becomes 800. Now again try and understand what I am doing here is on first exam for each point she has to spend 10 minutes. But now she is getting 40 minute points. That means by unitary method, if I multiply 48, then I would be able to get total time she is spending on subject 1. Likewise, for each point on second exam, she has to spend 20 minutes. And in order to get 40 points on that exam, she has to spend 40 into 20 which is equal to 800 minutes on that exam and the total of this would be 1200 which is your total type located so that was all for this video